Welcome to Network South East Thames and Chiltern lines. We run the last remaining all diesel commuter train services in the London area. From Paddington, Thames line operates network expresses to Reading, Newbury, Oxford and Banbury, as well as stopping services along the Thames Valley route. Out of Marylebone, Chiltern lines serve Aylesbury, High Wycombe, Princess Risborough and Bicester. As Derek Griffiths revealed in the first edition of Network South East's Clean Team video magazine, our customers place clean trains at number two in their top three priority demands. On Thames and Chilton, most of our trains are over 30 years old, among the oldest anywhere on the network. This makes it just a bit harder to achieve the highest standards of train care demanded by our customers, but well worth the effort. With the new cleaning products now introduced, you'll be surprised just how good the older trains can look. So, until the delivery of the new network of turbo trains in 1991, let's take a look at how we can give the existing trains that extra sparkle. Heavy cleaning of the Thames Line trains is undertaken at Old Oak and Reading depots. Chiltern Line trains receive this attention at Marylebone Diesel Depot. Daily exterior cleaning of all our trains is carried out by means of automatic washing plants like this one at Kensal Green Carriage Servicing Depot, not far from Paddington. Exterior cleanliness is every bit as important as interior cleanliness. After all, the outside is what the customer sees first, and this impression affects his entire perception of the standard of service we're offering. We asked our customers what they wanted most, and third on their list, after cleaner seats and tidier floors, were shinier windows. You've all heard of the new cleaning products, so let's take a look at what they do and how you should handle them. We'll begin with the four to six weekly heavy clean, known as the A-Clean. Our first product is called Grime Shifter, and when using it you should wear the standard rubber gloves. Grime Shifter is an efficient cleaning agent for interior surfaces like formica and plastic, as well as metallic surfaces such as luggage racks and window frames. The interior heavy clean begins at the top with the coach ceiling. Squirt the Grime Shifter onto the surface to be cleaned and simply wipe off with the blue heavy duty paper toweling. Next comes the luggage rack, cleaned in the same way using Grime Shifter. Now work down the side walls of the coach, including the bulkheads. Don't forget to pull down and clean the roller blinds, these are always hidden traps for dirt and grime. Metallic brightwork, like the window frames, should first be polished with land care. Once the brightwork is polished, wipe it over with grime shifter in the usual way. Here are four more products for interior cleaning. Speed clean for windows, speed polish for woodwork, disinfectant and toilet cleaner. Spray speed clean onto all glass surfaces and wipe off with the paper toweling. A clean, sparkling finish is achieved in no time at all. Now to the first of two products that deal with a more difficult problem, graffiti. When using Dacrylate you must wear gloves and goggles. Paint the Dacrylate onto the graffiti generously and leave it for a time to do its work. The second product for graffiti removal is Gwish. This time you need to wear the gloves, but not necessarily goggles. Use the Gwish in exactly the same way as Dacrylate, applying it generously to the defaced area.
Leave it for a minimum five minutes to work, then begin to carefully wipe off, wiping into the middle so as to avoid spreading any residual stain. Once ceilings, racks, walls and windows have been cleaned, it's time to vacuum the upholstery. This will remove the loose dust and dirt, after which it will be necessary to apply the wet and dry vacuum using the special machine. This machine is filled with low foam detergent mixed with water. The deep cleaning process leaves upholstery and carpets rather damp, so allow at least three hours before the train or vehicle is returned to passenger service. In each toilet, walls, ceilings, fittings and wash hand basins are cleaned with the spray-on disinfectant. Then thoroughly wipe over to leave a clean, fresh and hygienic surface. The WC pedestal is then cleaned with the green toilet cleaner. Soiled or dusty curtains should be exchanged where necessary and all antimacassars should be replaced. Pay special attention to the quality of finish for example, the neat adjustment of curtains. And don't forget those important little details like polishing the mirror. Last job in the interior heavy clean is the floor. Armed with a bucket of heavy duty floor cleaner, a brush and a pair of rubber gloves, apply the floor cleaner methodically. Aisles, seating bays and under the seats. Using the mop, Give the floor a good rub over before finally wiping off. Now let's turn to the exterior part of the heavy clean and the cleaning agent Wonder Gunge. You must wear rubber boots, a protective apron, heavy duty gloves and goggles. Before applying Wonder Gunge, put some bicarbonate of soda down to neutralise the acids before they get into the depot drainage system. Begin by covering the entire side of the vehicle with Wonder Gunge, including the windows. Once applied, leave it for at least 15 minutes. Now go over the whole area, giving it a good rub down to remove any staining or contamination of the paintwork or glazing. Finally, thoroughly wash down with clean water making sure that all traces of the wonder guns are washed off. This is where the bicarbonate of soda which you put down becomes important. A less powerful cleaning agent than Wonder Gunge is thickened X Mover. Only gloves and goggles need be worn. Here we see thickened X Mover being used to clean the end bulkhead of a coach. This is part of the heavy clean, but is also necessary on a weekly basis to supplement the automatic washing plant, reaching the parts the washer can't, so to speak. It's called a B clean.
Last but not least, don't forget the door handles and grabs, the first part our customers get hold of. Safety instructions for all the cleaning agents are posted in the stores and they include details of required protective clothing. In the main depot area is the so-called Kosh board. Make sure you read it and look out for your own safety and well-being. Well, that's another clean train leaving Old Oak Common for Paddington. Hope the customers approve. We've certainly done our best. Of course, the heavy clean is OK, but if we didn't touch it for another month, you can imagine what it would look like. Right then, next on the menu is the daily clean, called a sea clean. Remove all litter and empty ashtrays and waste bins. Clean and replenish toilets. Give all seats a good brush, or better still, vacuum clean. Clean down surfaces, especially those the customers might touch. Clean the windows. People like to be able to see out. Clean exterior handles and grab rails. And the driver's window. He needs to see out too. Change soiled seat covers, headrests and antimacassars. And finally, give the floor a good clean. Chewing gum is a real nuisance. Use the spray-on remover to freeze it. Then break it up while it's brittle. Once it's broken up, it's a simple matter to sweep it up like any other dirt. Last job of all, fill the fresh water tanks. Nothing causes more dissatisfaction than a toilet that won't flush or a wash basin with no running water. All the cleaning regimes we've looked at so far have been carried out in depots but our trains spend most of their time out in passenger service. To keep them up to the mark, it's necessary to give them a turnaround clean, where time permits, between trips. This is called a D-clean, and it's basically the same as the daily clean at the depot. When carrying out the D-clean, don't forget to put the litter and dirt in plastic bags. Don't sweep it out onto platforms or tracks. That's just making unnecessary work for someone else and making the station untidy and unpleasant into the bargain. Where turnaround times are tight following a fairly lengthy journey, for example a network express from London to Oxford, a minimum essential clean is required. This is called a sweep out or e-clean. Clear up litter from the floor, tables, racks and seats and wipe off any crumbs or sticky residue on tabletops. Sweep the floor over if it needs it and clean and replenish the toilets. Don't forget to refill the water tanks. Even such brief attention really counts, as customers riding the return working to London will be quick to tell you.
If an automatic washing plant is not available for any reason, use a mobile machine, like the one at Reading, or wash the exterior manually. Remember, first impressions count, and it's Thames and Chilton customers we must seek to impress. Thank you.